So my epiphany moment at the uh, Stos uh, Stampede here in Amsterdam, well, basically the purpose of the Stos Network is to create opportunities for other people to have epiphanies. Okay, we have this kind of very vague vision about a better world and better different ways of managing businesses which are going to be more um, human compatible, more, we, we talk about stewardship of the living rather than managing the machine. And so what we're seeing now is like with our Stos satellites, and the networks that are springing up around the world, this is going to create opportunities for managers, consultants, uh, thought leaders, interested people, uh, we call them seekers, to come together with providers. Seekers are, have a question and are looking for an answer. Providers have a story to tell, an experience, and these people will come together, and out of a couple of these changes, aha moments are going to take place, and they'll be able to take those, those new uh, newly learned information to their companies and create companies that are doing things much better than they are now. Okay, so uh, when I got here to, to the Stoast Stampede, I was a bit uh, puzzled by um, yeah by this vagueness that uh, surrounded the Stoast movement. What is the purpose? What are we up to? Uh, and that also um, yeah emerged in many of the sessions this this uncertainty about what the stores really is about and um, one idea was to yeah somehow define it um, which turned out to be difficult because they're very diverse people many different uh, backgrounds and ideas and uh, my epiphany moment was just in this session here where we said okay hey we, we can't define that that's just create learning opportunities and that's that's what our purpose is and that's how we want to go forward and I think that's just awesome um, I was present at the original Stolz meeting, and um, there was there was very clearly a, there was there was some people that wanted to, wanted to be more specific. I'm really in terms of what we produce. I'm really glad that we didn't become too specific. But I feel definitely the need to for there to be a, a better container in which we can self-organize. Um, and what I think we've achieved in this session is that we've we've seen that the the mission for the Stolz movement is to um, provide opportunities for people to learn. There is no one way, there are many better ways, and um, if we can provide a, a way in which we can ex exchange experiences and uh, people can learn from one another. So I'm very, very happy with, the, with what we uh, achieved in this session. So I think, for me, the session, the most enlightening moment was recognition that we need to get things on the floor, we need to have a conversation with people, we need to um, have real examples, we need to have case studies, and this is something that really helped us in Zurich recognize that the work we've been doing has not been a waste of time. So we've been working hard on the satellites, and now we're getting confirmation that it's the right thing to do, it's the, we believe it's the right approach. Well, probably many, but it's a good approach, that's what we're going to continue to do. So if it wasn't for this session, we would uh, still have question marks about that approach. Um, the essence of the session is it kind of forced us to be more articulate about what we think uh, Stoes is as, a, as, a, as an organization or as a movement and uh, make more concrete some of the ideas we have without uh, being held to what any one particular uh, uh, manifesto or framework uh, uh, to be more articulate that we really want to be a learning organization to help other people have inspiring moments and what's the best way to do that and there's no end goal to this but possibly a, uh, a way to move forward with us in the future. Well, I, I thought this was great. I, I, the, the problem that I still see is that uh, people like we call the CEOs in, the, let's, let's say, the old world, is that they have their beliefs and their value system. And I think that what we call Stosian is from a different kind of world, which in uh, the spiral dynamics world is different colors from uh, the, the one that the regular organizations are. And the, the trick should be, I think, is to have a way to find the language that you can translate to blue people, mm -hmm. why they should get rid of their context which doesn't work anymore, mm -hmm. which we all see because we call it a crisis and they have itches on their paradigm as we call it. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is translate our way of working to them as being uncertain about what they have to do about it. And then if we can translate our way of thinking to their way of beliefs, then that might get them out of their uncertainty.